This is an overview of highlights from OpenStax User Survey, the seventh survey we've conducted since April 2013. Our goal is to better understand attitudes, organizational profiles, use cases, and technology choices across the community's various deployments. This user survey represents more than 1,600 community members and more than 1,100 different organizations. That's 25% more organizations and 22% more individuals than last time. Although only 36% of the same people answered both this survey and the last one, we've surveyed nearly 2,500 community members over the last two survey cycles. The results are surprisingly consistent, suggesting we have a representative cross-section of the community. The users answering this survey spanned the globe, 76 countries. We also saw consistent representation from companies of all sizes, demonstrating that OpenStack is an enterprise-grade solution, but it's also strongly used by startup and mid-size organizations. 47% of users told us they have more than one role or function in the way they work with OpenStack. The most prevalent answer on this list is new this year, Cloud Architect. Also new on this list was the CIO slash IT manager role. Five projects have been adopted by 90% of clouds. In the last survey, the top six projects adoption ranged from 78% to 85%. Now the range is 83 to 97%, an increase of five to 12 points. For the second survey in a row, containers lead the list of emerging technology of greatest interest to users. The Container Service Magnum is also at the top of the list of projects of interest. This list suggests where OpenStack's growth will be in the future. Some OpenStack releases are more strongly adopted than others. This chart shows the popularity of Icehouse relative to Havana, for example. While in the last survey, most deployments were on the three most recent releases, in this survey, many more upgraded to the two latest releases at the time of the survey, Liberty and Kilo. Most clouds use a lot more projects than just OpenStack's core services. Nearly 50 deployments in production or QA testing phase run more than 15 different OpenStack projects. You can look at this spike at the end of the chart as the sum of the long tail of clouds using many, many projects. A typical cloud runs nine projects. This cycle saw major shakeup with business drivers as standardization has become a top priority for virtually every user. Six months ago, only 60% of users said standardizing on the same open platform and APIs that power a global network of public and private clouds was a top five consideration. OpenStack has become the standard for enterprise infrastructure as a service. OpenStack's Net Promoter Score climbed steadily over the past three surveys. A Net Promoter Score of 41 is top of the charts good, considering that the industry average for software is only about 19. We think the NPS trend is a key indicator of increasing user satisfaction. We also see highest results from those with deployments in production or QA, suggesting that those who use OpenStack fully are most satisfied. Also among all users, we saw a clear trend toward an increasing NPS score. When asked for the primary reason for their score, the positives were community support, avoiding vendor lock-in, consistency, stability, and the importance of open source. On the negative side, complexity, difficulty in deployment, inconsistency, and a lack of stability were cited. You can read more comments verbatim in the user survey itself. Finally, we looked at the proportion of clouds in production to those in proof of concept or QA testing phase. The number of clouds in production or full operational use grew to nearly two-thirds of all deployments, an increase of 33% in just 12 months. Special thanks to the OpenStack User Committee. I'm Heidi Joy Trethaway, Senior Marketing Manager for the OpenStack Foundation. I hope you've enjoyed this digest of the user survey and that you'll dive into the full report for more.